Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So Halloween is getting really close and last year I did the Kylie Cosmetics Halloween collection and I kind of wanted to keep it a tradition like every Halloween to do a different Halloween collection. So I ended up this year picking up the Lunar Beauty Moon Spell collection and I'm going to um, do swatches for you guys. I'm going to apply it to my face just by looking at this collection. I'm kind of surprised on how like small it is for a collection. I don't know. I'm just used to getting like a highlighter, a palette, lipsticks, you know, all the stuff that Kylie brought out. I'm not comparing the two, but all the stuff that she brought out, you know, kind of set the stage for me for what like a Halloween collection is because of how much stuff came with it. But I'm going to put that aside because I'm sure that this is going to work great. And before I end up swatching and starting the video, I'm going to preface that I'm going to try to be doing more vlog style videos because that's what people are, are, are into now. Um, I'm still going, going to be doing my like sit down makeup videos and my fashion videos because that's what I enjoy. Because that's what I enjoy doing. So you guys will see some like real life. So we're just gonna, gonna get on with the video because I'm gonna just stop rambling. <laughs> well, I do my makeup is also ignore this huge zit on my face if you can see it. Um, how I do my makeup is I, I've already put primer, moisturizer, and done my eyebrows, and then I put concealer on my eyelid for primer. Now, how I do my makeup is I start with the eyeshadow, so that's why my face looks so naked. So this is the Moonspell palette. It also came with this little Lunar Beauty little card with their campaign photo. And on the back, it just gives you the palette, the lip gloss, and the two lipsticks. So this is the Unicarton for the um, Moonspell palette. First impressions, it feels very nice, uh, a little luxurious. So the, this is the actual palette, and I, I really like um, the amount of detail that he, uh, that Manny did with this palette because it looks like a book, and it's meant to be kind of like a spell book because it's Halloween. Um, and if I keep hitting this mic, I'm sorry. Okay, very Halloween themed. It's very spooky, which is like my aesthetic during October. Um, and on the back, I think is one of my favorite parts of this palette, is I just like this design with the hands, and I like the lock feature. But what we care about is what's inside, and I've never purchased any Lunar Beauty product. Of course, it comes with its standard uh, piece of plastic to protect the mirror and the shades. Um, just looking, wait, is there a, a plastic piece on the mirror? Wait, there is. Ooh. Come on. So this is the Lunar Beauty uh, Moon Spell Palette. What I am noticing in this palette is that there's not really a lot of everyday shades, which is kind of, which is nice because I've been wanting to dabble with color, so that's going to be fun. So um, how I'm going to swatch this is I'm going to swatch each row on my arm. This is Prue's page. Phoebe. Wait, uh, I'm sorry. This is... Prue, Piper, and Phoebe. This one is Paige, and this one is Sabrina. Just by swatching, um, the one thing that I noticed was that um, Prue is a lot more um, like a sparkly than Phoebe is, and it looks like there's a line, and then there's kind of like a little bit of glitter. Um, but overall, they did pretty good. This is Winfred, Sarah, Mary, Samantha. I think I'm like not even in frame. Okay. And this is Kiki. 
So this middle section is more of your uh, your your neutral tones and your um your like base colors. And judging from just this row of swatches, um, I already like the formula. I think I'm final on that. And the glitter or the shimmer shades, like the uh, metallics, um, they feel really nice and they look nice when applied with a hand. I don't know how they apply with a brush yet. Um, so we're gonna move on to the last row. Hermione, Bonnie, Marnie, Nancy, Fiona. Now I'm really bad at swatching, but these look pretty good. You're going to see how these apply to my face. Because that's the important part, and now my hands are all glittery. Nice. I'm thinking there was a lot of purple, but like I've been seeing a lot of people do purple with this palette because, I mean, the entire top row is purple. Um, so I'm going to try to incorporate a little bit of purple and maybe a little bit of blue. We're going to try. I'm not that good when experimenting with colors, and also I didn't clean my brushes, so don't hate that my brushes are like dirty. I think we're gonna start out with Paige, which is, I need a brush, which is this shade right here. I know it's dirty, but it's pink, it's fine. And we're gonna lightly dip in because I don't know how pigmented this is. First impression, let's see what happens. And I'm just going to apply it to the crease. They're very pigmented, so you have to apply it with a light hand. I'm surprised on how like pink it looks. I mean, the brush was kind of pink, but I wiped it off. Like, I was expecting more of a purple than a pink. But, I mean, it's a good starter shade if you're trying to go with a purple. Because usually what you want to do is you want to put a lighter color of what you're working with in your crease when you're working with light colors. Okay, so right off the bat, they're very pigmented and they blended very nicely. They weren't, they're not like streaky, they're n they weren't like very powdery to put on, which I like. Moving on to the next shade, um, I really want to use Sabrina, which is like this really like pretty purple right here. And that we're just going to put it right where the other one was. Ooh, okay. When working with this palette, use a very light hand so that you have more control of um, the color. Just because colors I find are kind of hard to work with. Okay. So this is the purple shade. Um, honestly, I like it. Um, I haven't really had a palette. I mean, I have the Jaclyn Hill palette, but that's kind of expired by now, probably. I haven't really had a, a palette that has like good colors in it to use. And I'm really, I'm really liking this. It was so easy to blend. Usually I am, okay. I am not the best blender of makeup. I'm working on it though, but like this was super easy to blend, like, and it looks like really good. So so far, I I really like this palette, um, like hands down, it's pretty good. He didn't put a black in here because he kind of expects you to have your own black. Um, I was kind of looking forward to having a black, but since we don't, I'm just gonna dip in with Kiki, which is this brown shade, and we're gonna. Put that in the outer corner to give it a little bit of depth. To blend it out, I'm going to go back in with Sabrina. And I'm just going to blend the brown into the rest of it.
first I'm going to cut my crease. So I'm going to cut my crease and I'll be back. I'm going to spray a flat brush with some Urban Decay. And we're going to take um, Piper, which is the shade right here. And this is going to go where we cut the crease. Oh my lord. Oh my god. I'm kind of shook. Like, okay. <laughs> okay. Wow, that looks really good. Okay, Manny, I wasn't expecting that. Okay. I'm just gonna like blend the corner so it's not so sharp and then it looks more seamless. The shade Phoebe it looks like kind of very glittery. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use my finger and I'm gonna dip into it. I'm just gonna press it on top of the piper. Okay, we're then gonna take the shade Prue or, yeah, we're gonna take the shade Prue, which is another very glittery one. And we're gonna put that in the inner corner. Okay, so this is the eyeshadow look that I did with this. Um, I'm actually like, I really like it. I really do. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the rest of my face makeup and then I'm going to do the lower lash line and then the lips. So I'm just going to cut to that so you guys don't have to watch me put on, you know, makeup that you already see me put on. So I'll be back in like a few. Bye. The last thing that I have to do is put something on my lips. I usually don't wear lipsticks just because I have a boyfriend. And when I kiss him, it would leave a mark. So this collection came with um, two liquid lipsticks and one lip gloss. So I'm just going to swatch the lipsticks and then I'm going to put the lip gloss on. Yak up the sleeve. Okay, so it came with a black shade and a red shade. Uh, the black is Wicked and the red is Witch. B word. The bad word. Because I, I, I'm a no bad word channel. So I'm not putting these on, on my lips because I have to go to school. But anyway, this is the red one. They smell kind of like food, to be honest. Well, no, usually you don't want it to smell because then it has like artificial stuff in it. Like you want like a no smell. I know I gotta leave. <laughs> so this is Enchantment, the lip gloss. Oh, it's got glitter in it. I didn't want glitter in it. I didn't want glitter in it. I'm kind of sad now. I didn't want glitter in it. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. We're done now. Are with me? Can you me out with me? No, I'm not. <laughs> well, you didn't want the last one in there, and then you started laughing hysterically at it. They didn't need to know that. So. Well, now they do. <laughs> and that is it for this week's video. If you guys like what you, if you like what you saw, please hit the like button and subscribe button down below. And while you're down there, please leave a comment. Tell Ian that he looks cute. No. Yes. Okay. Uh, and that is all for this week's video. I'll see you guys next week. And bye.